Mindful Life Practice Community. Inhale to open. Exhale down. Inhale, open. Exhale down. So some of the principles of Pilates are control and precision. So rather than going fast to get more repetitions, we're really focusing on getting the right form and slowing down so that the muscles really get the work we want to get in. Keep that knee at a 90 degree angle. Let's do three more. Three. Two. Really good. And one. Can we keep that knee lifted and maybe straighten that leg and bend? Straighten. Keep the knee lifted and bend. Let's do just three more. Stay strong. Three. Seven. Two. And one. Can we keep it here and do little pulses? If this is just too much for you, feel free to bring the leg back and do little pulses this way. But if you're up for the challenge, join me for three, two, one. Good job. And bring the knee back. Come back onto your hands. We're going to stand up before moving on to the other side. Tuck your toes under. Walk your hands towards your knees. And come into a standing forward fold with your feet hip width apart, with your knees bent, and the upper body draped over your legs. From here, we're going to roll up into standing position. So you're grounded through your feet. Your hips are over the knees. Now think of lifting from under the ribs. Pull the belly button in. Engage your abdominals. Let your arms feel heavy. And slowly stack one bone over the other. Roll up. Really good. Stand tall. Inhale. And on the exhale, roll down. So think of feeling your spine off an imaginary wall behind you. One vertebra at a time. Good. And last, roll up. When you're ready, roll back up. Really good. And once you're up to standing, we're going to start with our leg work. With our squats. So let's keep our feet hip width apart and first thing just take a little pelvic tilt. So instead of being here you want to tuck the tailbone under and engage your lower abdominal without squeezing your buttocks. So keep your buttocks soft just the abdominals and tilt. Now that your abs are engaged knees are soft we're going to reach our arms forward and we're going to keep this engagement as we pull the hips down and back, squat, and press back up, reach the palms back and press back. So engage your back muscles. Good, let's keep moving. Lower, so remember, keep that pelvic tilt, lower abdominals engaged, and press up. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Good, let's do three more. Go slow. And Alex's class was perfect before this because you built awareness in the body, in the present moment. So keep that awareness here. Let's do one more. And in Pilates, we love our little pulses. <laughs> so we're going to hold it at the bottom now. Hold it in your squat. I'm just going to change this way. And lift your right heel off the floor without changing your height. And we're going to pulse. Pulse, little pulses. Keep that engagement in the core, shoulders away from the ears for five, four, three, two. Good job. One. Good. Can you release the heel down and press back up? Stand tall, palms face back and press for eight, seven. Engage those back muscles. Five. Four, three, two, one. Good job. We've got the other side. Arms come forward. Settle into your squat. Lift the left heel off the floor and pulse. Breathe. 
We've got seven more. Small little pulses, keep your core engaged. Four, three, two, one, and release the heel and press back up. Good job. Roll your shoulders out, release your shoulders. Good. We're going to step at the back of our mat, roll down, and then walk into our plank position. All right? Good. So keep your feet hip width apart. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, nod the chin in, and slowly start to round through the back. Lift from under the ribcage. Pull the belly button in. Let your arms feel heavy. Bend your knees as much as you need to, and then start to walk your hands forward, keeping your hips as steady as possible. Come into your best plank position, crown of the head forward, and hips level. Breathe here. As you breathe out, can you pull the belly button in? One more breath. Good job. And lower the knees down. Cross your shins behind you and sit yourself down. Straighten your legs in front of you. And without using your hands, can you try to sit bone walk your way forward so that there's enough space behind you to lie down. We're starting with our ab series now. So get ready to feel that burn <laughs> in your abdominals. Bend your knees. Feet are on the floor. Now really think of your heels getting heavy. All right? And arm thumb forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, tuck the belly in, or tuck the belly button in towards the spine, and round through the back. Imagine there's some kind of vacuum here, pulling the abdominals in. Good. Keep your heels heavy. We're going to come back to that seated position. Inhale. Exhale, come back up. Good. Now really think of the letter, letter C in your spine now. Inhale. Exhale, round. Come into that C shape through the spine. Keep the shoulders away from the earth. And if you want to add in a bit of challenge, bring your fists together. And twist. Come back to center. Twist the other way. So keep your belly button in, your hips are not swinging around, your knees are staying the way they are, parallel, and you're just revolving the ribcage around your spine. Stay strong, let's do one more. Good job, reach to center, reach your arms forward, hold on to the backs of your legs, and roll yourself back up. Good. I hope your abs are starting to feel warmed up. We have more coming. Keep your hands here where they are at the back of your legs. Inhale. And exhale. Round, round, round. Keep rounding your back, your spine, moving the belly in until you feel your lower back kiss the ground. And then come all the way down to this lying down position. All right. So twist your neck long, arms by the sides. Take a moment to feel that pelvic tilt again without engaging your glutes. Tilt the pelvis. Imagine you have a little cherry tomato under your lower back that you want to squish. Ribs in, belly button in. Good. Bring your hands now behind your head. Interlace the fingers. Keep your elbows wide. Inhale here. Exhale. Lift the head. Lift the shoulders. Keep your elbows wide without pulling on the head. Just use your abdominals to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale, lift. Pull the belly button in. Look towards your belly button. And keep your chin away from the chest. One more time. Inhale down. Exhale up. Can we keep it lifted now? Keep your right hand where it is. Reach your left arm by the side, palm facing up. And we're going to reach. So think of reaching your left fingertips towards your left toes. Side crunch. So there should be no tension in your neck because your right hand is still supporting the weight of your head. Let's go for five. Four, 
feel the shoulder blades slide. Three, two, one, come back to center, reach your right arm out and reach. Right palm faces up. Breathe. Reach those right fingertips long. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Release the head, release the shoulders. Give your abs a little break. Breathe in, breathe out. Right. Good. And when you're ready, just drop your knees to the side and come onto your left side. So your right leg will be on top. We're going to work a little bit on our inner thighs. Okay, so first thing, think of lengthening the sides of your waist, supporting your head either like this, or you can place a cushion and place the head down, whatever feels better for you. Now, right knee will bend and right foot will come forward. Either this or you drop the knee. Whichever works for you. There's nothing wrong. Uh, there's no right. There's no wrong. Okay? Good. So whichever you choose, stack your hips. We're not falling back. Stack your hips. Engage your core. And you're going to lengthen that left leg and lift. And lower. Lift. Can you lift a little higher each time? Lift. So feel those inner thigh muscles working here. Lift. Lower. So although we're focusing here on the inner thighs, our core, so our abdominals are still working because we, we don't want to just collapse on the floor. Think of your lower waist lifting up and away from the ground. Breathe, keep going, keep that leg energized. Five, four, three, go slow, two, and guess what? Little pulses. <laughs> Lift and little pulses. Just a small, tiny movement for 10, 9. Lift a little higher. You can do it. 7, 6. And this often seems challenging because our inner thighs are some of the hardest muscles to tone. So this is a great opportunity. Four more. Three, two, one, we're not done. Can we keep it lifted and flex and point? Flex, point, lift a little higher. Come on, just three more. Point, flex, point. Last one, good job. And lower down. Mini, mini break before we move on to the other side. Straighten both your legs. Breathe. If you want to change the position of your head, go ahead. Make sure your hips are still stacked. Okay, you can have a look while I, I demonstrate and then join me. I'm going to lift my top leg, so the right leg, and then try to meet the right leg with my left leg. And then just keep moving the bottom leg, so the left leg. All right? So again, working on the inner thighs, but working on our obliques as well to keep that top leg extended. Let's go. Right hand in front of you. Extend through both the legs, sides of the waist long. Good. Lift the right leg. And then lift the left leg. Try to meet the right leg with the left one. Lower and lift. Lower, lift. It's just the left leg moving. Breathe. Let's do five more. Four. Three. Keep the legs long and energized. Two. One. And release everything down bend your knees and press yourself up swing your legs over to the other side and lie down on your right side now so we've got our inner thigh sequence on this side and then we move on to a little more of glutes okay good so get your position bend the left knee foot comes forward or you can drop the knee Extend the right leg and make sure your hips are stacked. So if you had a cup of tea here on the top hip, it wouldn't spill. Bottom waist lifting. And now let's go. Reach the right foot off the floor. And lower. Point your toes maybe if that helps you feel that sense of length through the leg. 
Good. Keep your jaws relaxed, your forehead relaxed, your eyes relaxed. Good. Let's go for at least eight more here. Go slow. And that one thought, um, one second pause at the top is where you'll really feel the burn. So don't rush through it. And as our muscles get tired, our vision starts to go into the tunnel vision. So make sure you're keeping your vision wide. Keep your eyes relaxed. Three more. Two. Check in with your hips. Are they still stacked? One. And we know what's next. Little pulses. Lift and pulse. Ten. Nine, lift a little higher each time. You've got this. Six, breathe. Four, three, two, one. Keep it lifted. Flex and point. So you're first reaching through your heel and then the toes. Heel, toes. Lift a little higher for three more. And two, one. Good job, and lower it down. Woo! I hope you're feeling it in the inner thighs. You can lower your head, adjust your position a little bit, and now both our legs will be straight. Keep stacked with that cup of tea is here. Lower waist lifting, abs engaged. Good. When you're ready, lift the left leg. So the top leg lifts. Now, with control, try to reach the right leg up and lower, lift, lower. So there's a lot of control going on here. You're keeping your hips stacked, your abs super engaged to help with that. And of course, you're working on your legs. Five more, stay with me, four, three, two, and one, good job. Lower everything down. And just roll over to your belly. Good. Working on the glutes a little bit. So have a look before you rest your head so that you can see. We're going to keep our knees wide. We're going to bring our feet to touch. And then we're just going to lift the feet up towards the ceiling, engaging the glutes, engaging the hamstrings to lift. Okay. It might not be a very big movement, it might be just small, that's okay, you'll still feel it in the back here. So, stack your hands, elbows wide, your neck will be relaxed. Knees wide, toes touch. Let's go. Lift and lower. Think of that one second pause at the top. Squeeze your glutes and down. Let's go for six more. Breathe. Shoulders relax. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Can we keep it lifted and pulse just for five? Little movement. Four. Three, Ooh, feel those hamstrings, two, one, and release. Good. Keep your legs wide, heels in, toes out, hands on the floor, little forward of the shoulders. And now keep your legs energized, press the ground away with your hands as you extend your spine. Keep length in your spine, shoulders away from the ears, and lower down. Let's do this one more time. Remember, prioritize length rather than height. So this is not what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for length, keeping the neck long and reaching the spine long. And lower down. Good job. Bring your legs together. Tuck your toes under and inhale here. On the exhale, pull the belly button in. Imagine you want to push the ground and then you lift yourself up into tabletop. And guess what? I just realized that we forgot the other, the, the, the other side for the fire hydrants. So let's do that now. So first, tabletop position. 
We're not collapsing. Push away, draw the belly button in, and then drop the left elbow down. Right hand stays on the floor. Okay, keep that engagement in your core, and now lift the right knee and lower. So you want to keep this 90 degree angle in your right knee as you lift. Go slow, nice and controlled. Good, keep moving here with awareness and breathe. So instead of letting your head drop here and straining your neck, try to keep length, so keep your neck long. Let's do three more, two, and one. Can we lift the knee and extend the leg? So I'm going to switch angles. Lift and extend. Bend, extend. Bend, extend. Good. Three more. I know this is challenging. You've got this. Do it with me. Two more. Last one. Good. So either you fault here on the side or you reach your legs back and fault. For five, four, three, two, one. And release down. Good. Release your hands. Take a break. Roll your shoulders out and breathe. Okay, last little burn. We've done abs, we've done inner thighs, we've done glutes. We just have a little more for the quads before I hand you over to Lindsay. <laughs> so come onto your kneeling, into your kneeling position. Okay, you can keep your toes tapped or untapped. Keeping them untapped makes it more challenging. Okay, those who are regular to Pilates classes, you know what's coming. It's a love-hate relationship with this one, I guess. Arms forward. Now, remember your, your pelvic tilt. Ribs in, belly button in. So this stays the way it is, and you're going to hinge and come back. So I'm not arching. This uh, doesn't serve the purpose. So keep your belly in and hinge. Come back. So we're using the quads, the thighs, to reach back forward. So again, if your toes are untapped, it'll make it a little more challenging because you don't have that urge to push with your feet. Breathe. Keep your ribs in, belly button in. Shoulders away from the ears. Can we do two more? And we're going to hold it now. Can you hold this hinge position? Ribs in, belly button in, and move your arms up and down. Five, good. Four, three, feel the burn in the quad. Two, one, good, and release. Okay, just before we finish, come onto your forearms. We're just going to release the spine with a couple of cats and cow on our forearms. This helps us to get more into the thoracic spine. Elbows under the shoulders, palms down. Inhale, open up through the collarbones, pull the shoulder blades back, lift the tailbone. Exhale, think of really rounding through the upper spine. Good. Two more. Open. Feel the front of the body open up. Exhale, round. Last one, listen to your breath. Let your breath guide you. Good job. And then come back to neutral position. Cross your shins behind you and come to a seat. And just a neurological exercise before we finish. Stick your right thumb out, arms straight in front of you. Now keeping the hand where it is, keeping the head straight, sorry, move the head and keep looking at your thumb. So the eyes are fixed on your thumb and you're just moving the head side to side. 
All right, let's do two more. Good. Come back to center and now move your thumb. Head stays straight, eyes follow the thumb. Go slow. Try not to move the head and not to involve the facial muscles and reverse the circle. And these are exercises you should try to do every day because it activates different parts of the brain that help with focus, that help with uh, memory, concentration. Good. And now come back to center. Good. Release your hands and keep your eyes straight and just move your head in different directions. Maybe the figure of eight, maybe just side to side but keep your eyes still. Notice what this does to your nervous system. Good, and release. Close your eyes and take two or three deep breaths here. Just notice how you feel. You're definitely stronger than when you stepped onto the mat. You're more aware of your body, you're more aware of your breath, you're more connected, which is a great, great feeling. Stay in this position, seated, or you can even transition into a child's pose now if you wish. 